I can tell that Ayala Glacier at least has been active by the amount of ice in the water. If you start looking around, you'll see a lot of what we call brash ice, very small icebergs. So I'm going to kind of start bobbing and weaving through them, just want to give you a heads up, even though we're in calmer water. If you're moving about, do you still expect motion? Keep that hand on the rail. It looks like it's pretty spread out here. If I get into thicker ice, I might have to slow down. So just be aware of that. We'll continue working our way up. It's about another five miles up to the face of the glacier. But at one point, Ayala did sit where we are now. We just crossed over what's called a terminal moraine. And what that is, is where the glacier, during its advancing state, or when it was pushing forward, growing, they work kind of like bulldozers, pushing material ahead of them. Then when it started receding, it left all that debris behind. Sometimes we see these little marines above the waterline. This one is submerged, but not by much. We're traveling at about 500 feet of water, but just behind us, it comes very quickly up to only 40. So as I'm watching the depth sounder, I know exactly when I cross that terminal for me. You might see it in the monitor, you can see one of the pieces of navigational equipment I use up here. You can see that there's the cross zone that we just passed, and that's why it's there. That's the terminal moraine. It's actually coming down on the side of where we cross to get into this area. The bus may have taken up right in the middle, so we can get into this area. Now, all of this ice you're seeing in the water, it is glacier ice. It's not sea ice. It wasn't formed out here. It's fallen off of the glacier. And it's happened rather recently. No matter, well, that's not quite true. But you can see that we see that we 